All right, so we have uh, Cinco sending round seven from TL versus KC uh, to analyze, and I'm feeling like a, there's a trend that people sending a, like rounds that are very trolly. So this is a this is a very early KC from what I remember because they play Gecko and they also like just play Gecko mid every single round, which is incredible development. This is like where Scream was just in game leading by running out of time. Very good. So they ult with Gecko in mid, but they're not getting any space. The breach is falling back from B main because of the flash, I guess. Now he's not controlling anything. He's just jump peeking. Oh, oh my god, I remember this. He's just gonna die because of a jump peek. Like, this is one of the things that are gonna happen here. It's like this breach, user right here, um, is jump spotting multiple times in the same spot so he's alerting the opponents where exactly he is and people are just gonna be ready look look at this like this was like the fifth time this does this wait what wait what i remember that he hit that shot or something anyway so they know about the breach oh my god all right, well, that is... After losing so many pistol rounds and this being a full boy round for them, this was the time for it to start working. We're down to 40 seconds. They haven't got... Yeah, no, sir, a great job. Have no idea if anyone from Liquid is sat on it. This Dude, he is sitting so close to the monitor and yet didn't see jack shit. Going from bad to worse for Casey. I mean, one of the main things that he fucked up is the fact that when he flashes here, right? Look how he flashes. Did you see where he flashed? He literally flashes in main why are you flashing in main you know they can be out you achieve the same with this flash if you flash it here literally the same but if they can be out then at least you are getting pressure like it, it's just terrible there, there, there's no redeeming there's there's no redeeming thing about this about this round at all like my god i forgot about this round i didn't want to be reminded about this this is so bad this is like this is like ranked level gameplay like jump spotting like this in a game like ts maybe it will work because you don't have util you don't have anything else like you have util but you know there's a difference in the, in the util between cs and environment here jump spotting consistently like that not only he put himself into a terrible spot because these uh, the jet had a chance of killing him but he literally threw it around by not controlling his only job you know that's about it like that's it like you, you have one job. You have one job. Your job is to control B main. And as a breach, that's pretty simple to do. Because you can early stun, right? You can early stun this and be posted there. Or you can early stun it and just hold it passively from trash, from link, and just be aware of what's happening. But if he just jumps putting from here, like this is this is unacceptable. But yeah, uh, I forgot about this round. It was horrible. Thank you for sending this round. But hey, we have a second round from Cinco. Uh, we'll do it again. Because I'm sensing another troll. So let's do it together, okay? So this is um, round map two, round four. Map two, round four. Let me check. Map two, round four from this link. Map yeah. two, round four. Oh my god, you sent me a VOD with four hours. But between who? Is it what? Is it Navi... Navi versus Foot Esports here on Lotus? This is this one? So round four. Okay, so the next round. Okay. So we're gonna watch... Round four. So this is round four. Okay. So um what do we have here? 
Uh, Navi defending, food attacking. Navi is on a half buy. Two guardians, two sheriffs. Zip and goes for no utility. What? Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, seeing that this is on your own, I already forgot about this match. All right, let's see. Explain, explain the buy, please. From from Navi, I mean, I think Sinat literally forgot to buy a gun. I think this is literally uh, Sinat forgetting to buy a gun because there's no way he's gonna be playing 2.2k with a classic, you know. And Angel doesn't have any cash. And there's absolutely no reason to do this as well. So, I don't know, maybe he meant to buy a Sheriff instead of a Guardian. It's... There's also uh, a possibility that he's gonna, ho gonna go for a Judge next round. That might be an actual possibility. But... So he gets us the first contact, by the way, which shouldn't be the case. Like, um, let's focus on this, actually. So this is actually a very good example to learn a little bit. Even if it's like a trolley round or something, uh, you can learn from this. If you have two players pushing mounds like this, this player should be the contact, not this. Right? So what happens here is that Viper gets the contact first, dies, and there's no way of trading. So Angel just stands there like a turret. He has nothing. Because he doesn't have the angle to get the kill, to get the trade, or even attempt anything. So he needs to stand like he was standing before, right? If he has the contact, then the Viper can swing from the other side and have a chance at getting into a, cross, into a nasty crossfire that can get them an actual win, right? But if it's the other way around, that's just literally trolling. By the way, uh, that jump there, completely unnecessary risk. You can TP out before taking the jump, right? Do you see the buy next round? Okay. There's, there's a chance that Angel wanted to buy a judge next round anyway and like be posted on B, for example. There's a chance this might be the play, but in my eyes, this is still like... I think heavy miscommunication because Cena has a classic for no reason at all. So he either forgot to buy a sheriff or he legit, I don't know. There's just no explanation here. And I think Angel might be thinking to buy a judge next round and, and that was his plan. That's why he has a guardian because otherwise sheriff would have been the logical option because he would have had enough cash for a full buy next round. Right? And this is well played by foot because they get an early pick and they just go into rotation. And this is again a good example of bad contact play. Pay attention to, to how the players are set up, right? Neon and Omen are literally playing together. Look. Right here. We have Neon, we have Omen. And it's the same thing that just happened on Mount. This is lack of fundamentals or lack of communication. But in this case, I would assume it's a lack, lack of communications. Uh, because there's no way that you play it this way if you know what you're trying to achieve, right? So, in this case, if you're holding it like this, like they're literally holding it right now, Neon is the first contact. So when a player peeks out into this angle, the Omen swings out and then trades, or they don't lose the Neon if he does it fast enough, and they get the kill by being a 2v1. But, if the Neon is the second contact, then you're trolling because you have to sidestep into your opponent's, like, good position because this guy just gets a straight line to this guy and this guy cannot be traded by this person here, by Neon. So this is literally trolling. Look, look. This is a very good example. It's literally the opposite positioning from Mount situation, but it's analogical because the peak is from the other... Um, it's like from the other side, right? No, sorry, it's exactly the same, what I'm talking about. It's exactly the same like mound. Imagine the mound is here, right? This is mound. 
and they are peeking from here. And it's literally the same situation. Viper died here, and Angel couldn't trade from here. But if you would play the other way around, and Omen would be in this spot, in here, right? Standing in this position, and then Neon has contact, and Omen just sidesteps, he get easy kills, or they are setting up a 2v1. But he dies first, and then they lose the, the trades. A bit of fire in the belly. You've seen it. Well, there it is. Lockdown going to come out this round. I don't know if they even really needed it here, but we're going to find out if there's enough threat to be warranting committing the lockdown. Did they destroy the lockdown for the wall? Yeah, they did. That's nice. That's nice. Most likely the Killjoy put it too close, by the way, to the wall. Uh, I think that's one thing that uh, Killjoys can actually change. Um, pay attention to the minimap right now. You, because when you put the lockdown too close to the wall, you can see it through the wall. But if you put it a little bit more to your left, to the closer to the Killjoy position, it doesn't really change anything on site, right? But it's not going to be visible for this wall. But this is so minimal, it's so niche, that it doesn't matter. Like, in most cases, it won't matter. In this case, it mattered, but in most cases, it won't. Tree's been overrun, and the lockdown has been dealt with. But back to task, they still need to deal with this spike. First tap on it, draws out some of that utility. And a captain buying precious seconds here. But now there's the next tap. This one needs a little bit of commitment behind it. There it is. Effective trades of foot. Fantastic work until then. And no, just picking one by one. Uh, almost thrown by foot. Almost thrown by foot. Alright, so, and the question was the follow-up by Navi. I mean, I'm sorry, but there's, there's nothing I can say. There's nothing I can say. There's no excuse for this. There's no excuse for this. Like, there's no way you're playing on defense as an, as an omen without a second smoke, without a paranoia. Because you trolled the last round with a guardian. I was fully expecting him to go... Uh, so he has 3.3k, right? He has 3.3k. That means you can go full armor, um, judge, which is 2.850, and you can buy paranoia and a second smoke. So you have both of those. You still have a deadly gun that you just adjust the way you play, and you can fully support the team with this, right? And then we have seen it, who didn't buy a gun previous round because he went for a almost glass cannon Yoru with one TP that he already used and nothing else. I mean, at this point, if you're choosing to play Yoru and this is your decision making to, that, to do this, then you're trolling because this is literally, you should be playing Jet. I, yeah, thank you for sending the trolling rounds. I hope you guys are gonna re <laughs> uh, enjoy this breakdown video. I I'm getting trolled by sending those rounds. Thank you. See you guys around. Bye bye.